Well, you know, I decided there wasn't enough risk in my life, so I decided to take on making my own propellers. So let me give you a quick look. First of all, all of this is going to be based on the new KDE Direct triple prop adapter. And these adapters are designed to use these DJI folding props. So kind of a neat, very nice design, pretty light, and uh, just really solid engineering on these things. But the problem is that these propellers only come in one size. They only come from tip to tip, you're only going to be able to get 15 inches. And if you want anything bigger than that, you're out of luck. Unless you decide to make your own props. And that's where we're going here. So. Again, all things in moderation, so as part of this experiment, I'm going to start with a 15-inch prop. First of all, uh, they're much cheaper than larger props, so I can see if this is e even going to work. And uh, secondly, uh, the stresses on a 15 are going to be less than it would be on some of the larger props. So here's what I've done. I've taken a normal prop, and then I've just cut it right down the center of that center uh, hole. And the reason I've chosen to do that is because the edge of this hole will become from the position from which we, we measure. So once we've cut this, I measure exact, <coughs> excuse me, exactly 12 millimeters from there back onto the root here. Because the root, let's face it, this is the part that's going to get all the stress from a couple of different ways. First of all, we have longitudinal stress. In other words, when this thing is spinning around, uh, centrifugal force is going to pull on the mounting screw that we put in there trying to pull this prop out of the mounting. So I wanted to get the hole far enough back along the root. I didn't want to just use this hole because then there wasn't enough meat here to support it. So I wanted to move it as far back onto this root as I could. First of all, longitudinal stress. Secondly, this thing is generating lift. It's got some twist to it. So we're having torsional stress. When we start this propeller at high speed, or basically at any speed, it's going to be trying to twist. This back end is going to be trying to lift up. And because it's being held in the chopper, it can't lift up, so it's going to raise the craft. So we have that torsional stress, uh, or twisting stress, on this route as well. So all of the stresses that we're going to be suffering, the biggest risk we're going to stand is a, a failure from this point. Okay, so measure 12 millimeter back from there. We drill a hole. <clears throat> and in fact, that's what we have here. This is the opposite pitch, but you can see it's about about like this. It's well back on there. It allowed me to grind off the end of it to get the weights pretty well equal with each other. And then I drilled and chamfered a hole. And inside of that hole, if we, if we simply stuck a screw inside of there, when this thing is being pulled or spun, that screw is going to be pulling against the outer or the inner edge of this hole, focusing all of its energy right there. And if we allow it to do that, we don't know the quality of this uh, carbon fiber. This propeller wasn't designed to function the way we're going to be doing it. So I decided it probably would be a good idea to go ahead and put some kind of reinforcement. So what I did is I got some brass tubing. This is from k &S. It's 532nd. I drilled a 532nd hole. I cut the brass tubing as kind of like a little washer or bearing to put inside of there. I, I uh, epoxy it in place. And now when we put that screw in there, my theory is that that little bushing will spread some of that energy around, out along the inner part of the bearing here. That's my hope anyway. So we're, we're, we'll prevent all the stresses from being along this line. Okay, so we've done this. I have already gone ahead and uh, got the propellers. They're all installed on this chopper. Another way I've decided to uh, uh, reduce the risk is I, I'm not going to use a high dollar quadcopter. I've made, made this one uh, specifically for this test. I do have FPV on it, but I made this one very, very light, almost all out of carbon fiber, so I'm going to put a very small battery, I think a 4500 milliamp hour, and the entire weight is only going to be 1720 grams. And that, of course, will reduce all the stress on the prop and reduce that torsional uh, uh, and lift stress, I hope. I hope. That's the theory anyway. So let's... Uh, Let's put the battery in this thing, take it outside, and uh, see if we can not get a prop failure. All right, got it out there. I spread out the blade so there wouldn't be too much stress on start off. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to let the I'm going to start it up and let the engines run just a little bit. If we have a catastrophic failure, I prefer it's on the ground, not in the air. Let's let this run just for a second. Seems to be all right. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to raise it up and put it in ground effect just above the ground because I think that uh, takes less lift to keep in ground effect. So again, low stress on the blades.
Okay, it's doing pretty good. One of the reasons I'm doing this is to find out if three props are going to draw fewer amps, which means we'll have more flight time. Uh, I'm looking at a OSD on the screen next to me. We're drawing about 9.4 amps, which is a little bit of savings, about six tenths of an amp savings over two blade. Okay, I'm going to raise the aircraft up to about 10 feet. We have a good GPS lock. back it away from us a little bit now that we have a good good altitude means we have good speed on the props I don't want them to throw one into my eye okay it's nice and quiet I love these KDE triple blade adapters because the quad is just so incredibly quiet These, although these are 15 inch props, they're actually about an inch longer than the DJI props. Uh, simply because of the way, uh, the place I put the hole on the, uh, uh, on the propeller. Which means, I think, they're probably giving us a little bit more lift. These are 1555s. The DJI's are 1552s. It's almost negligible. But with the increased length on the props, we probably are getting a little bit more lift for any given amount of power, so we're burning fewer watts to hover this thing. All right, enough of that. I'm going to land it, and I'm going to claim success. Now it's time to move up to the 17-inch props, and then we're going to move up to the 20-inch props. See where that goes for us. Anyway, the guys, thanks for your time. KDE, thank you so much for engineering these super triple adapters. I appreciate it, even though you made me pay for them. Maybe next time I'll get them for a discount. Anyway, until next time, fellas.